Hey everyone, it's Jen. I'm back with another Finders Keepers by Amy Tan process video 12 by 12 layout. I am using this yellow paper. This is a photo of, um, we went to the beach recently and um, actually we just got back today and I just had to do this photo because it, I just, I loved this picture that I took. Um, I don't know if you could see, but it's um, really pretty palm trees and in the bottom of the photo is a building that is bright blue and yellow. And this was um, taken right by the beach. And so I'm just using some Amy Tan papers and I wanted some yellows and blues and greens. And so I I picked this the, that paper with the arrows and the green background that is from I believe that's from Rise and Shine her just this past collection I mean not this past collection but the one before that and then um, I'm just grabbing some other papers I think there's another paper that I used from another 6x6 collection I think it's 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 an older one so um, I just needed some blues and some greens and stuff and so I just had to pull those from my stash and I'm just you know just adding some layers and I put right here I use that cut apart that says right here and I'm going to back that with some white paper because um, I just felt that it, it needed something um, right behind that and then I'm also using that colored vellum I'm just using a little bit of um, that to layer that behind the yellow on the right of that and then I'm going to take that pineapple stamp, that cute pineapple stamp, and I'm going to use, I think that's Hero Arts, or I'm using Memento, I think, in Cantaloupe. I can't remember the name. And then I'm going to stamp the top of the pineapple in that Hero Arts green color. Um, and I'm just gonna go up and down the page. And then I'm going to take this blue piece and layer that in there. I'm going to back that little cut apart sheet in some white paper just to make it um, stand out a little bit. And I thought about matting that photo with the pink vellum, but I decided not to. I wanted to keep this pretty plain and simple. So we actually just got back from the beach and I thought that I haven't crafted since like last Tuesday and it's Sunday now and I thought that it was going to be really difficult for me to get back into my groove and stuff but it was actually not that hard. I actually finished this layout in about 45 minutes. It was very quick and simple and easy and it just came together so quickly. I guess it was the photo and her stuff is just so easy to work with. I just love the bright colors and everything so um, yeah it was just a lot of fun. Okay, so here I wanted to use that tree, that little tree piece, that slice of tree. <laughs> and then I wanted to use um, those puffy stickers and it, I wanted to use the hello there to bring in the blue, but then it would have said hello there right here and that just, I didn't like that. So I just, I did pretty right here, I like that. And then I just added a little tag there to bring in some pink on the left side. And, um, Let's see, I really loved that clear sticker of the pineapple tree, it was so cute. Not pineapple tree, I'm sorry. <laughs> the um, palm tree. And I wanted to use that little tag down there in the corner to bring in the blue and it says, the blue and the green, and it says life is short, don't be lazy. And I love it, it's our handwriting and it's like a watercolor tag, it's so pretty. And then um, I also use a rub on at the bottom to bring in the blue and to ground that pineapple tree. Not pineapple tree, why do I keep saying that? Palm tree, <laughs> sorry. Um, I have pineapples on the brain. Um, and then I'm just going to tuck in that blue there because I wanted it to be a little bit longer. I cut it in half before, but um, yeah. So I do that and then let's see.
going to stick that down and then um, I put a puffy heart, a puffy sticker camera right there and then I use that rub on to ground the palm tree at the bottom and then I, I really like that clothes pin at the top. Um, trees, I love trees and palm trees are my absolute favorite tree. Well, one of them. I, I really love um, cherry blossoms as well. But, um, so I always look for palm trees whenever we go um, on vacation or to the beach. And um, so I'm gonna journal about, journal about that at the bottom. I'm just gonna say palm trees are one of my favorite trees. So when I found them at the beach in Lewis, it totally made my day. And then I'm just going to stamp it um, August 29th, 2015. And that is my process video. I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick process video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later, bye.